Hello Retro Gamers, how are you doing? In this video, I thought I'd do an unboxing video. Now, before you go running for the hills, uh, you know, oh no, not another unboxing video, uh, I thought I'd make it clear that this is kind of a parody, but not really a parody, just for something that people would find interesting. Um, I don't really get all the other unboxing videos out there, you know, people buy an Xbox or a MacBook Pro and they're like, hey, this is me taking it out of the box. Or, you know, good for you. But I thought I'd do something you can't buy anymore. You can't go down to the local EB Games or whatever and get one of these. Because this came out about 25 years ago. And I thought I'd maybe make a good video because it's uh, complete. Everything that it comes with, to my knowledge, is still there. Uh, you know, besides from a bit of wear on the side, it's pretty much exactly like it would be as the day you went down to the shop and picked it up. Now this is probably just about the best game ever made. I can't really say the Japanese translation um, because I don't want to offend any Japanese viewers if there are any but my pronunciation pronunci I can't even say that word it's terrible so I'm not gonna go there but in English it's family computer business economic software volume one um, a little backstory of how I got this um, if you follow my blog a while ago I acquired two Famicons and a Super Famicom and I wanted to buy a cheap test game to see if the Famicons worked. This was my cheap test game. This cost me $3 Australian off eBay. Uh, bargain, right? I mean, but you know, it's, it's an economics game. But, you know, cool nonetheless. And it proved that my Famicons worked. So I guess, job well done in that respect. Now here I guess I'll give you just a bit of a, a rundown on what's on the box. Just, you know, a little bit of a tour. Um, as you can see, it's just your standard Famicom rectangular cardboard box, which I try my best to store because I don't want to be crushed by anything because it's quite flimsy, but it's surprising how it's lasted this long. It must have just been sitting in disuse for years. But um, you know, the box is just fairly standard. It says a whole lot of stuff in Japanese. It's this nice little slip-on thing, which I'm not sure what the purpose of is, but you know, it's nice nonetheless. More Japanese writing on the side. We've got barcode, more Japanese, which I have no idea what it says. There's a lot more Japanese. Kind of cool hat. It's really shiny, so that's always you know, shiny things are cool. And yeah, not really that much else actually. The only clue about where it comes from is uh, Imagineer Co. Limited, which, from what I can gather, was a games company. I think I may have looked it up a little while ago. I think it's still going, um, but I can't really remember, so I'm not going to delve too far into it. I think it may actually be a telephone company now, but like a mobile phone. But yeah, whatever. Anyway, let's uh, empty the contents and see what's inside. When I got this, I was actually really surprised by how much stuff is in it. Full of pamphlets, the game's still in its original packaging, like internal packaging. It's really cool, you know? So, to break it down, really, we have the game, the uh, thing inside of the game, and then we just have these pamphlets, and then I guess we'll just run through these pamphlets one by one to see what's on them. So first off, let's just look at the cart, which comes in its nice little plastic enclosure, and some kind of slip that comes with it. The uh, actual slip it seems to be some kind of instruction manual about, you know, how to put the game in, um, you know, and then how to plug the power adapter into the wall, just in case you didn't know how to do that. But I guess, you know, if you buy a console, you know, to play an economics game, I guess you're not really that most uh, technology inept, but oh well, it's good, I guess. Let's have a look at the cart. So we can get that in focus. Nope, I'm gonna to have to refocus this manually. The camera has no automatic focus. But yeah, as you can see, it's um, kind of the host or whatever. Um, some kind of businessman who tells you everything. But then again, the whole game's in Japanese as well. So I've got no idea what, what he says, but I'm sure it's all good intentions. But yeah, just, yeah, I guess that's cool. He's cross-eyed and he has a nice checkered background. And then there's not really much else of note. Just uh, probably, I don't know, health warnings. Do not play too much economics games. You'll explode. I don't know, terrible joke, sorry. Let's have a look at the other pamphlets. Next up we have some kind of slip that looks like you're supposed to post off back to him. I don't know if it's some kind of uh, like club you're in, you know, you're in like, you know, an elite economics game club. Or maybe it's just warranty information you sent off in case, you know, it breaks and you're like, oh no, I'm without my economics game. So, yeah, uh, if anyone can read Japanese who's watching it, uh, please translate to me to what this is, because I'm actually kind of curious. But, 
guess it doesn't really matter too much, but yeah, why not? Anyway, let's go on to what we have next. Up next, we have some kind of promotional pamphlet. Um, it has the same guy on it, uh, you know, doing the same face, and he's with all these other little chibi characters. I, I think they're chibi characters. Um, yeah, chibi magna anime. It's all kind of the same to me. I enjoy it, but I don't really know the difference because I guess I'm just kind of ignorant. But um, yeah, it's, I guess maybe he's in some kind of series because you know how it says Economics Game Volume 1. So I guess there's a whole series you can buy and it's like, hey, buy the other ones because you love economics so much. And then on the other side, it seems to be advertising a calculator by the same company who made the game. So I guess if the company's making mobile phones now, it kind of makes sense that they weren't, you know, they made calculators and games. Last but not least, it appears we have a promotional pamphlet for a game which I'm led to believe is called Battle of Olympus. Um, you know, it's a pretty cool standard 80s game. It looks a lot funner than this economics game, I must say, because, you know, you wear sandals and there's dragons. Um, and then on the back, it just has some kind of map where it talks about the company and the game. And, you know, this would probably be a lot more informational if I could read Japanese. But hey, uh, this is the last thing as well. So. Thanks for watching, uh, ho hopefully you found it interesting. I found it kind of interesting when I first opened it. Hopefully I've conveyed this interestingness into this video. Um, but yeah, check out my blog, www.retrogameon.blogspot.com. Um, I would be very grateful because I'm quite lonely over there. So yeah, but yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you later.